All right, what's going on, YouTube? This is Boxing Wave. All right, I have uh, I have a few things I want to talk about, and I, I I'm I don't like what Floyd Mayweather is doing, and I, I I peep it, and I've been I've been paying attention all week while he's been promoting this fight with Sean Porter, Adrian Broner, and I, I see a lot of people notice it, but no one's really speaking on it. You know why? Because the people that wanted Floyd to lose against Manny Pacquiao, they're just stuck, you know, at this point. Like, some of them are pushing Floyd to fight Lara. Some of them are pushing him to fight Triple G. Um, they're just stuck. They're not getting what they want, so they're just bitter. And then you have the Die Hard Floyd Mayweather fans that's like, well, we're happy with whoever Floyd chooses to fight at this point because Floyd fought the man that everybody wanted to see him fight. He dominated him. And now they're like, all right, Floyd could do whatever he wants to. Now, I think people are taking the whole Floyd could do whatever he wants to thing a little too far here, okay? Because as far as I'm concerned, he is still the man that everybody wants to fight. He's still fighting. Um, the Floyd Mayweather sweet stakes is on, okay? And as far as I'm concerned, I don't know if he vacated the titles or not, but it really doesn't matter because everyone wants to fight Floyd, whether he's a champ or not. Everybody considers him the real champ at 147, 154, what have you, okay? Now, I'm a Floyd Mayweather fan, but I'm not going to sit here and let him slitter his way out of some nonsense. All right, I'm going to call it as I see it, okay? When I first heard him say, maybe I'll take Andre Berto or Kareem Mayfield, I saw it. I thought it was funny. I thought I thought he was clearly joking when he said it. But since he said it again, and he's keep saying it, I'm not gonna. I'm like, like, let's this this take a look at this here. Floyd Mayweather against Kareem Mayfield for a pay per view fight. That's cool with the Floyd Mayweather supporters. That's cool with y'all. Like, you want to see that fight? Um, Andre Bertel. Um. It's a little better than Kareem Mayfield, but I mean, still, is that what you want to see? Is that what you really want to see? Just because he beat Pacquiao now, that's what you want to see when we still got Kel Brook, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, Iris Lanny Lara, Triple G, Demetrius Andrade. We could go on and on with names, okay, on who Mayweather could also be facing. Um, Amir Khan, you know. Danny Garcia, some of these fights I don't even like, Tim Bradley, but they're still hanging around, you know what I'm saying? Um, Andre Berto and Kareem Mayfield, Kareem Mayfield, okay, now, I thought it was funny, but even if he is serious, whatever, but the fact that he's saying, I want Keith Thurman to fight Errol Spence, on my undercar, or I want Sean Porter, after he beats his boy, Adrian Broner, to fight Errol Spence on my other car. Like, Errol Spence to you is good enough to fight direct possible opponents for you. Errol Spence is good enough to fight Porter and Thurman, but you're not good enough to fight. But... You 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 won't fight those two. But Errol Spence is good enough to fight those two. Now, we know the rumors. We know about Errol Spence giving you a black eye in the gym. In fact, I think Errol Spence giving you a black eye in the gym and you kicking him out of the gym is more of a reason why you should fight Errol Spence yourself. Like, I mean, if he's good enough to fight Thurman, a guy that you should be facing, or a Porter, a guy that you could be facing, or anybody else that's in a division that's a top fighter, if he's good enough to fight these top fighters, why don't you fight him? If this is the same guy that allegedly gave you a black guy in the gym and you kicked out because he gave you a black guy in the gym, why won't you fight him? That's my thing. Like... If you have anything to prove, why not fight Errol Spence? You know, if you could fight Kareem Mayfield, 
or Andre Bordeaux, why not fight Errol Spence? You know? Since he's good enough to fight these other two guys, which I'm not... I have no doubt in my mind that Errol Spence is the next big thing in boxing. I already said this on my channel. I've said in videos, as far as Keith Thurman, and I'm a huge Keith Thurman supporter, that the two guys that will give him trouble at 147, other than Floyd, because at the end of the day, I still think Floyd can beat all of these guys at 147. Brooke, Thurman, Porter, all of them. I think Floyd would beat all of them at 147. The only guy that I'm not sure if Floyd can beat is Aris Lanny Lara at 154. That's the only guy that I'm I'm not sure. Okay? But all these other guys, I think Floyd would beat him. But back to what I was saying. I've said on camera, the only guy that I think Keith Thurman will have a problem with other than Kell Brook is a Errol Spence already. You know? And I saw, I'm sure he sees that. But now you're going to use Errol Spence as a tool... So like you beat him, maybe you get like you know I I don't I don't like that because Porter and Thurman deserve their big shots, and if they're not fighting each other, they should be fighting Floyd Mayweather, you know. At the end of the day, like let's like it's not like this because he beat Pacquiao. Let's 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 not this like get, let's not get crazy here. These guys want their shot at Floyd Mayweather, and they deserve it. You know they deserve it. If they don't get it, cool, but don't try to push them to fight this young kid that allegedly busted you up in sparring. You know, don't do that. That's corny because it's making it, it seem like you using this kid as a bar. Errol Spence, he's in the middle of it because he's just happy to be there. He's on a come up. He's on a come up. So he's willing to fight anybody. He's willing to fight Porter. He's willing to fight them. He's willing to fight you. Because if there's an opportunity to fight Floyd Mayweather, do you think Errol Spence won't take it? Errol Spence is on the come up. He'll fight anybody. But let's not let's just not just use this kid like because Adrian Brown is washed up at this point. He's not washed up, but he's no more the guy that you have to beat to beat, fight Floyd. It might happen again with Porter, but after this, it's clear that Adrian Broner is not the elite fighter that everybody thought he was, okay? So let's not do that. Like and I'm 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 seeing people talk about it, but they're not keeping it a hundred. Like, all right, you could be a Floyd Mayweather fan. I'm a Floyd Mayweather fan. Like we could all be Floyd fans. But let's not get crazy. Like let's not like you gotta call it as it is at the same time, you know? You can't just be so one-sided with you. you I, like, I know who the Pacquiao fans and the Floyd haters are. I know who who really are extreme Floyd haters. And this video is not to co-sign them. But as a Floyd Mayweather fan, he's using Errol Spence as the new wall you got to break through in order to get to him. Now that Adrian Broner has lost again. You know, in a fight that he talked so much trash about. And, you know, and now Floyd was on his side the whole time. Even though he's promoting the fight, he's clearly on Adrian Broner's side. And now that Adrian Broner lost again, clearly, now let's use, oh, uh, well, he, he, we should get Errol Spence on, no, on the other card. No, no, these guys want to fight you, bro. They're ready to fight you. They don't want to fight Errol Spence. Not saying Errol Spence ain't good enough, but he ain't fight no one yet. He ain't fight no one yet. We might think, I might think he's the next thing in boxing until he gets punched with a good shot. Maybe he got no chin and get knocked out. It happens before. It happened before. There's been plenty of prospects that I thought was going to be the future of boxing that we all thought was going to be the next big thing until they got punched by somebody that got some power and then they get knocked out. You know, we still unsure about Deontay Wilder. We still not really sure how good he is. I didn't even make a video talking about that. So, my thing is this. I don't have a problem. Floyd could fight. He could fight whoever he wants. You know, he doesn't have nothing to prove. But he's still active. Okay? He's still that guy to beat at 147. So, these guys deserve their shot. If they're not going to get a shot at you, they should be fighting each other. They shouldn't be fighting Errol Spence right now. I would love to see the fight. But they shouldn't be fighting Errol Spence. Errol Spence doesn't need to talk about Errol Spence could fight for a title with one of my titles that I vacated. So he's going to vacate a title when he's ready to 
for the fight that he think is worth it. I'm going to hold the title until one of these guys fight for my title or a fight that I want on my undercard for one of my titles. That's not cool. That's not cool. That's 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 corny to me. That's corny to me. And I'll have another I'll have no problem with saying that on camera. I'm a Floyd fan, but that's corny to me. That's corny to me. Okay? Not saying he has to fight those two, but pushing them to fight Errol Spence is corny. If you're not gonna fight those two, then just don't fight them. If you're gonna fight Kareem Mayfield, and this is the last point I'm gonna make about that whole thing. A fight like Kareem Mayfield. The reason why I don't like those fights is because people have high expectations from you, like Amir Khan did against Algeria. You know, you saw how I felt about that fight. This is what happens. If you don't knock out Kareem Mayfield or destroy him 12 rounds, winning every round, it's going to look bad. Especially when you fight a guy like Kareem Mayfield. <laughs> which is a huge step down for Floyd Mayweather. Not disrespecting Mayfield, but let's be realistic here. Kareem Mayfield is nowhere near. Like, he's not even close to any of these other guys. <clears throat> any of these other guys that deserve a shot at Floyd. He's not there, okay? And you fight Kareem Mayfield, and you got to understand, you fight Kareem Mayfield, Mayfield is like, it's a win-win situation because... I'm going to just go in there and just try to knock him out. I'm going to give him the best fight I've ever fought in my life. You're not going to fight the same Kareem Mayfield that fought everybody else. You're fighting a Kareem Mayfield that is fighting Floyd Mayweather, and he's going to do everything he has to do to win. People's will is stronger when they're fighting a guy that no one thinks they have a chance of beating. We saw that with Khan and Algeria. We've seen it plenty of times before. You know, we've seen Eric Molina and Deontay Wilder. That was a close fight. I mean, it was competitive. You got scared the moment that... The, yo, don't tell me you wasn't... If you're a Deontay Wilder fan, a supporter, and you think he was going to blow Eric Molina out, don't tell me you wasn't scared when Molina caught him with that, that hook. You, I was scared. I was like, oh, man, this is why you shouldn't be taking these easy fights because it's still boxing at the end of the day. And someone hits you with the right punch you don't see coming there's a chance you get knocked down. Floyd Mayweather beats Kareem Mayfield, Mayfield, that's cool. But if he gets into a tough scrap with Mayfield, or Mayfield might catch him with a lucky shot and floor him, it's going to make Mayweather look bad. Well, you had no business fighting Kareem Mayfield in the, in the, in the first place. This is why Condon had no business fighting Chris Algieri. This is like Deontay Wilder that had no business fighting Eric Molina. These fights that you think should be an easy match for you, you give these guys a shot to fight you and watch what happens. That's why Floyd shouldn't be fighting those guys if he's serious. But at the end of the day, like the whole thing with Errol Spence and using him as a tool right now, I'm not really feeling that either. That's just my opinion. All right.